Morning guys, this is Mike Cricket 113. This is the MFJ 870. It's an HF uh, peak meter and SWR meter with watt meter. Uh, I wanted to put this video up the other day, but apparently YouTube all over the world was down. And I thought it was my end, but found out later in the next day that it was uh, it was everywhere. But anyway, I wanted to recommend this, this uh, watt meter. If somebody's looking either an amateur radio operator or 11 meter operator, and you're looking for a watt meter and an SWR meter with peak power, peak envelope power measurement, uh, I'd really suggest this one. This is the MFJ 870. I know it's oh, we got something coming in. I know it's, uh, it's about 78 bucks, 80 bucks, something like that. Uh, not too bad, middle of the road, but it's gonna last you a long time. Chassis metal plastic front uh the display here you can either unplug that or plug it in it comes with uh i think it comes with the cord for that to power it uh, i got this second hand so uh i'm not really sure so i'm just using my own there but that lights up the front and uh just real quick how to use it i'm on channel one uh 2690 or 965 on uh 11 meter here so i'm going to use it for that <clears throat> Has 30 watt, 300 watt, and 3 kilowatt setting range. This is your calibration uh, tuning. Got your SWR test. Your set your SWR, your reflective power, and your forward power. This orange button here, that's your, uh, when it's pushed, yeah, when it's pushed in, it will read your uh, P PEP, which I can show you real quick here. All right, so with modulation, audio audio see how that needle swings audio audio so when you have average power on which is the button out it's just going to measure your dead key it looks like that's about six watts six and a half so then i modulate in the microphone audio 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 barely even swings shouldn't swing really but uh anyway so we're going to test our swr with the mfg 870 so what you want to do is you want to turn this knob down to set, uh, SWR set. You want to key up your mic. See, we're off here. We need to come to that red arrow there, the calibration line, which I want to get right on there. See, that's that right there. Okay, so you let go of your, and you don't want to modulate when you're doing the, uh, the calibration, okay? You just need to key your mic. And when you're going to do it, if you're an 11 meter guy or girl, you want to be in AM. You don't want to be in sideband, okay? So I'm going to switch this to our SWR and see what our reading is. And we're reading a 1.4. Not too bad. So on channel one, I have a 1.4. Um, I have this hooked up to the SolarCom IMAX 2000 right now. So let's see what channel 40 is. Uh, it's been raining for three or four days here. We're going to go back to set. We're going to hit calibrate, or we're going to hit our uh, microphone key, and then we're going to use the dial to go back to calibrate. Let go. Key your mic up again. Uh, 1.5 and a half on 40. Yeah, the antenna could be tuned. Uh, I'm running the issue of whether I want to keep it tuned for 11 meter or have it tuned for... The HF bands. So um, I figured once I get my general, um, and I know the uh, IMAX, just a fun fact for you amateur radio operators, the uh, SOARCOM IMAX 2000, which is 20 foot, 23 and a half foot vertical whip, uh, is resonant on 10 meters, 11 meters, 12 meters, 15 meters, 17 meters, and 20 meters. Now, without a tuner, you can get away on your 10 meters. 11 meters and your 12 probably. Um, I would say 15, 17, and 20, especially 20, even though it's kind of a, it is a multiple, you're gonna need a tuner depending on where you are. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys about this MFJ 870. It's for HF, uh, it's from uh, 1.6 megahertz to 60 megahertz. Now I understand six meters is uh, uh, v, or, yeah, VHF, in your six meter band, which 50 megahertz, I should say. But anyway, it, it, it's a great little uh, 
watt meter and SWR reader. I, I use this when I'm setting up a mobile, um, a mobile in the car, uh, or testing radios. So just wanted to recommend that. And, uh, this is my Cricut 113 and, uh, I'll be making some more videos this weekend. So I hope you have a good one and we're clear. Take care.